Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I wasn't entirely sure whether social media would be cool enough um, to be able to compete with the session going on next door, but by a number of you in this room, I can see uh, it's definitely uh, a priority for some of you. So thank you very much for coming to join me today. Um, just start off with some house rules. Can you all get your mobiles out, please? Can you all unlock? Can you all turn on your Twitter and your Facebook and get ready to post? Because this is an interactive session, um, I will have a few questions that I'll be throwing towards you. We're we'll looking at all aspects of social media, what it means to you, what it means to your travellers, and what it means to us at Home Away, and who we're reaching. Uh, we're also going to look at the media, the PR side of things. Um, so I look after um, PR, the press, um, as well as what we do with our partners and how we uh, build our brand, but also with social media. How do we engage with real people? How do we let them know about what we have to offer and what they can do whilst they're staying in a holiday rental? And there's so much more to it that I'm sure that you're seeing like social media just explode and you're trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. So hopefully, I'll be able to answer some of those questions. So there are a huge number of opportunities available for us on social media. Um, how many of you in this room have some form of social media account? Excellent. Let's start off with the most popular. Keep your hands up if you got Facebook. Yep, wicked. Um, Twitter. Pinterest. Google Plus. Instagram. Excellent. Okay, they're probably some of the main ones, um, but there are you know, new channels opening every single day, um, including maybe Vine. Anybody of you used Vine? No, it's 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 it was, um, I think it's bought by um, Twitter, um, and basically it's six seconds worth of video. Six seconds. You think 140 characters? And you're asking for just for six seconds. Yes, I'm sorry, but the amount of media we're consuming now is obviously significantly increasing, and the impact that you have in it is within that time frame. You've got six seconds to get people's attention. <coughs> You've got six seconds to share something, uh, one moment to like, another moment to ret retweet. Um, and we've got to get the best we possibly can do out there in that time frame. So, what is social media and how does that play when it comes to the actual marketing mix? Um, so, social media is one of those things that is surrounding us. I'm sure you've seen people along the street basically Facebooking constantly. Um, I'm sure that you get sick of your family and friends ignoring you um, whilst they're playing on Facebook. Um, all those conversations that people are having from, you know, did you see the latest episode of EastEnders, or um, uh, oh, look, I just bought myself a shiny pair of shoes, um, to look at this gorgeous holiday rental I'm staying in, to, you know, um, maybe, you know, you've been to an awards ceremony, and uh, you decide that it's important to do a selfie. Everybody wave! Exactly. Um, so we are obsessed with social media. Selfie, selfie, selfie. I want to make sure everybody knows what I'm up to and how I'm doing it. And that is at every stage. Interestingly, if we look at this, social sits here in what Google has identified as the buying process for travel. That means it's not their last point of call before they go and buy. It's not really the first port. But it's just as they're making those decisions. You're asking friends and family, where should I go? Portugal, Spain. Um, where do I go in Portugal? What should I stay in? What should I enjoy? Oh, have you checked out this? Have you checked out that? Um, you know, you're inspiring people every day of every moment of their lives. Um, so we need to be involved in those conversations every step along the way. So, where do we start with Facebook, most popular channel? Um, when we look at identifying the number of visits that were coming to our website, Facebook stands at the top. Uh, we have a global audience of three quarters of a million nearly, um, and it's growing every single day. Um, the UK audience itself is just over 50,000. And again, it's something that we're really spending time on investing. 
This is a way to be able to communicate again what is holiday rentals and what would it offer to you and your friends, your family, your partner or your other travelling companions. Engagement is, funny enough, an interesting aspect because um, you might have 100,000 friends following you, but you don't get 100,000 likes every single day. Um, interesting in the same way that Google has special algorithms, Facebook, funny enough, um, have also developed their own algorithms. And you might see status updates by some of your friends one day and not see status updates by some of your friends the next day. So there is this constant challenge that we're always up against other people's content. And we're always up against what people are particularly interested in and not interested in. But luckily at the moment, um, our engagement is about 25% above the industry average. And we do this by promoting posts, um, building our own like Facebook games and applications, competitions, um, and also, I think there was a session earlier talking about retargeting. Yeah. So now, if you're on Facebook, because it seems we spent either half a day on Google or half a day on Facebook, you're getting some of these retargeting messages. So if you've been to Owners Direct um, or, or, or Home Away as a traveller and you're on Facebook, you'll see an advert for that listing that you would have just seen. Just to say, hey, don't forget about me, come and book me. And that's exactly what we're trying to do, is just make sure we're at all those um, points where the traveller will be. And how does that work across Facebook? How are we actually um, making sure that people are effectively sharing? Because that's what it's all about, right? It's all about telling people what's going on and you know, making people more aware of what you're up to. And on Facebook, you would see, uh, on Homelight, you'll see our share buttons here. Um, and when, you, when someone clicks that, it will say, just found a fantastic property on Homeaway, and that will go out to all their friends. Um, and this is something that we're really trying to um, work and develop on further, because that's where people are actually planning their trips. Um, if you've got your family, my mother's just as bad. I mean, she's always tagging me in absolutely everything that she's looking at on Facebook um, and, uh, and across the net. And it does mean that we're actually having live conversations publicly uh, about where we're going on holiday next. Um, but, you know, um, my mum's like that. <laughs> on the property page itself, if you look at your listing, this is also where you'll see where, how people are sharing your listing. And this is where you perhaps want to use your family and friends a little bit more and say, just go to this listing, press like, do a share, it'll make you look really good. Um, so as you can see, this one here has 41 shares. Um, and it just shows that people are actually interested in your property and it also helps you reach maybe your daughter's friends or your cousin's friends or your daughter's friends, friends, friends. Friends, 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 friends. So you can just spam your network like that. And there's almost that, that, that proximity as well to yourself because there's that connection between you and the other person because of that connection you have on Facebook. Um, and this is where you'll see it on Owners Direct. We've just updated this, in fact, um, so that Facebook is more prominent. And if you want to go to the Home Away dashboard, and if you've done this, and if you actually shared your, um, your listing through the Homeway dashboard? Ah, so who's underutilizing Facebook then? <coughs> uh, that should be all of you <laughs> underutilizing Facebook. Oh, b -b -b come on, come on, let's, let's all admit we're guilty here. <laughs> so there is an easy opportunity for you to be able to share your stuff on Facebook. And obviously once that goes out, you're then able to encourage your friends and family to pass that message on as well. We're constantly developing ways in which we can interact with social. We were a business that was effectively around before social. So we have to adapt and we have to make sure that we're changing the way we're communicating with our audience. So it's, you know, it's working for them. Um, <clears throat> again, if you go to a like, if you go to your listing, this is how your travellers will see it. And what we tend to have, share a link, they'll say, I'm looking at this property, um, I'm looking at this place to stay next summer, who's interested in joining me? Well, I've just come across this, Barbara, what do you think? Shall we book it? 
these are the sort of conversations that we're actually seeing um, and some of the ones that we're able to come across. Can I just ask you a question on the last slide? What things are you sharing from your dashboard? Would you do You're sharing your listing. Only your listing. Okay, you can't like, do a review or something. Like if somebody's written a review, can you share that? Um, you can't, but you can go to your listing page and then you can click on the like or the share and say I've just received a new review and it will go up and it will be shared and then people can go to your actual listing and they'll see the most up-to-date content. And actual fact, I've got some examples just coming up of some of you owners that have been successful. And if any of you do see your property listing and would like you to jump up in the air and go, woo! Okay, thank you. Um, hopefully. <laughs> so what are you shared on Facebook? You know, what are we actually seeing? Um, these are some of the most engaged. Anyone's got a woohoo there? <laughs> there we are. Okay, we have an engaged owner in this room on Facebook. So congratulations. Can we have a round of applause, please? And these are the sort of posts actually getting seen, they're being engaged, people are liking, other people that are resharing these. And what I think you'll notice about them is the striking images that they use in every single one of them. Um, a Facebook post without a decent image, or without an image, rarely gets looked at, rarely gets liked. And there's some, someone's complaining about their love life or something else like that, as I'm sure you're fully aware. Um, so if you really want to make sure you stand out, you know, take those special moments that you have when you're in your holiday home. That amazing sunset, that incredible sunrise. The moment when the sheep jumps over the fence into your pool. You know, stupid, stupid situations like that, beautiful scenarios. Who has seen photos of someone's main course on Facebook, right? Uh, who has actually taken photos of their main courses? Yes. So what about that beautiful restaurant just down on the corner? And the fantastic tapas that you might get. Share it because this is the information that people want to know about your area, about where your holiday rental is, and the special things that they can get whilst they're on holiday. Um, so what do you do with Facebook? Um, as I say, share more regularly. The important thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep going on about this throughout, is photography. You know, you can, the best photos are going to be the ones that are going to be picked up time and time and time again. And we're guilty for it at Home Away. When we see a beautiful photo, we will pick that up and we will share that on as many channels as we possibly can do. Because we know that's going to be the one thing that people are going to be particularly interested in. Okay, encourage your friends and family to share. Promoting your local area. What's the flavours of your local area? What's the smells of a local area? What's the events, the festivals? All these sorts of things help to show that you're an engaged owner who really knows about what's going on in your local area. You're able to help promote what's going on. Um, if you've heard about the new mobile hospitality product, you know, this is really where you can bring your local area to life. And you can reuse that content time and time and time again. I always say, you know, um, post it now, forgotten a minute later. So, don't be afraid that you know, if you post it today and next week and the week after, you're sort of spamming people, you're not, because not everyone would have had the opportunity to see that. So you know, media is disappearing so quickly that we do have these chances to share these things time and time again. What's also is looking at other Facebook groups. I'm sure that'd be a Facebook group about your local area. Um, in fact, uh, most local authorities and tourist destinations, hotels, of resorts, beaches, all have their own Facebook fan page. And just by saying, hey, have you checked out my property? Or um, we're just 10 minutes away um, from this beautiful beach. Uh, we'd love to welcome guests um, so they can enjoy this as much as possible. It's something that's really going to help you reach a wider audience through your home way or owner's direct listing. Oh. Yeah. So, Twitter. A few of you got Twitter in the room? Yeah? Um, who likes Twitter? Who really dislikes Twitter? Who really doesn't care? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it's an interesting one, Twitter. Um, Twitter, um, you know, when we look at our, our traffic, is the third most popular social media channel. Um, Primarily, probably because it's uh, a, a, an audience of early adopters. Um, it's people um, that are really on the edge of social media a lot of the time. Um, basically, what I mean by that is that they can't take their heads out of their phones. Um, they are the people who are probably like this the entire time, and you want to give them a round of applause if they lift their head up. So, um, Twitter is one of those uh, communities. But it, what's great about Twitter is how it's it's used very well for people to sort of find out more information, connect with other experts, specialists, um, and you can find out things through this channel um, very quickly and very easily through their quite simple search mechanisms. Um, and 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 then through through that. Um, you can reach a much wider audience of what I consider influencers. You know, people who won't stop posting. I say talking, but actually they're just posting constantly. So, what do they look like? Um, these are a few um, of our owners um, who've been posting uh, some of their stuff on Facebook, uh, on, sorry, on Twitter. Um, and this includes the Twitter share that you'll see on the listing. Uh, you know, I found a great place to stay. Um, check out this awesome property. And we've just got five stars, hence someone who mentioned the review. There we go. Um, so, and, and it's, it's coming to winter. So what do everybody like in winter? English country cottages with a beautiful fire. So those little aspects that you might have in a holiday home is actually something that you want to be looking at. Is this something special, something unique? Then share it. Um, Twitter is such a... Um, you know, 140 characters, that's all you have, that's including spaces by the way. And from that, you need to make sure that you communicate what you want to say very quickly, very short, very sharp, very sweet. Images, again, work really well. Anyone heard of hashtags? Yeah, anyone used a hashtag? I know those of you who still got their hands raised, um, do you understand what a hashtag is and what it actually does? <laughs> <laughs> But again, this is all about bringing um, posts under sort of effectively um, a filter. So if I sort of hashtag travel, then um, everyone who has hashtag travel will effectively go into its own little folder or you can just search for someone who's hashtag travel. So you can actually get specific, um, specific subject matters and it's, it's, it's being able to make sure that your post goes into the right subject matter. Now the broader the subject matter, obviously the more posts and tweets that you're going to be up against. Hashtag travel, well, hashtag, hashtag world, you know, hashtag um, the Algarve, you know, those sorts of things. As it gets more focused, the more that you're probably going to be reaching a more targeted audience and being able to get the right message out there um, to the people who are specifically looking for information like that. Popular events are really good. So if you know you've got an event coming into town um, and they've got their own Twitter feed and uh, Twitter handle as you call it, the at uh, sign, um, then that's when you can take advantage and perhaps say, why not um, everyone who's going to at event why don't you check out my listing? Um, we have availability on those dates. And that's a way of being able to engage on that level as well. So always consider how you can optimize um, the Twitter uh, stream of information that's going out there. You'll see one from one of our owners here, um, which he's used his hashtags. So anybody who's looking for something related specifically to family, um, Roscoff travel and he's added us as well and put in four beautiful <coughs> images which is going to capture people's attention. <coughs> so post regularly is one of my tips, but don't over post because it can be seen as spam. Um, but if you try to change your content every few days and just get that out constantly, uh, then that's one way of being able to share not only the passion that you have for what you do, but also let people know a little bit more about what you can enjoy in the local area and what your holiday home has to offer. Pinterest, has anybody heard of Pinterest? And use Pinterest? Pinterest, interestingly, is our second most popular channel when it comes to social media. Um, why? 
Does anybody know why we have a huge number of people coming from Pinterest to our HomeAway and Owners Direct channels? Well, we're saying that mums spend more time on their phones than anyone else. Predominantly women, exactly, um, and uh, the audience of 35 to 55, which is what we target, are mainly on Pinterest. I mean, they're creating their own boards, like shoes I want to buy, um, or the you know, beautiful um, interiors that they've seen whilst they've been going across these boards. And some of the sort of boards that they create um, are basically wish lists, or what I want my husband to buy me. So, um, it's great for the husband, by the way, because he just needs to go to the Pinterest account and he never has to ask or even sort of read her mind ever again. So, these are some of the tricks, by the way, for, for, for husbands out there um, who, who actually want to make sure that um, they're, they're, they're getting their partner exactly what they want for Christmas, six weeks away, right? <laughs> so, and what we're seeing is also that travel is one of the leading themes and contents on Pinterest. Beautiful images, sunsets, holiday homes, properties, landscapes, all that sort of thing now, all being categorised into different segments of the holiday rental market. So this is one of our examples, is pools. So you've got a beautiful photo of a pool, hopefully your pool, on your listing, then we will take that and we'll want to put that in our pools. Um, boards. Similarly, if people are looking around you know, for beautiful pools, then they'll also find that and they'll like it, they'll share it in every uh, way that you do on Pinterest. Um, and again, I can't stress the importance here of having good quality photos. Now, if you're not used to taking photos, if you don't feel you're a very good photographer, then ask a friend that might do or might be able to use a camera um, or even you know, have a special technique of being able to use a mobile. I'm sure we all know some of the most amazing photos that can come from a simple device um, as, 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 as your smartphone. And really, this is probably going to be one of the things that is going to be uh, really useful for you um, wherever you are when you're moving around because you don't need Wi-Fi connection to take a photo. It's always probably going to be in your pocket get it out, take a quick photo, and you've got some content that then you can post up at some stage. Um, adding a description and providing a link as well within this just helps further people find your property. So, you know, there's no point just saying, look at my beautiful property, and people go, well, how do I find it? Um, or book my beautiful property, you've got no link or anything. So do bear some of these simple facts in mind um, when you are trying to promote your listing, is that you must tell people where they can find it so they can actually book it. The press, the media. Um, has anyone seen um, Owners Direct or Home Away in the media at any point um, in the last 12 months or so? Last week. Last week, a couple of you have seen us. Um, so what we generally try to do is try to make sure that we're promoting the benefits of holiday rentals in the UK. We're also looking at making sure that um, we're promoting your properties and promoting the wide range of properties that are actually available. We are working with the press to identify trends and um, be very much involved in the travel discussion and travel conversations and a lot of the features that they're looking at um, to be able to provide them with you know, the information that they need to complete a story. Um, this was some of the uh, activity that we did in the summer um, as we identified you know, a significant increase in number of people who were looking at staying in the UK. Um, we have featured across uh, all the major broadcasts as well as um, print and online press. And one of the things that you can certainly help with here is any of the unique stories that you might have in relation to your property listing. So have you had a celebrity come to stay? 
that sort of information, um, as long as we can publicly announce it, um, is one of the things that is also just helps sort of like add that um, add extra dynamic to what Home Away and Owners Direct is. That you know, Gwyneth Paltrow, for example, you know, is not too posh and rich and famous to stay in a holiday rental. Um, and um, these are the sort of things that journalists, as I'm sure you know, love. Um, anything to do with uh, celebrities is uh, one of the things that always gets picked up. On. We also look at the different types of properties that we do have available because people are always interested um, in some of the most bizarre, unique um, that, that, that it might be. It doesn't have to be a property itself like some of these crazy pads, um, but it can be certain features that you might have actually in the home, be it an, a rare antique piece of furniture or uh, be it a particular uh, unique design that you have done. Um, and we're, journalists are always looking um, for people to feature. Uh, for example, working with Women in Home magazine um, on, a, on a series of, um, about women who have basically entered the holiday and home rental market, developed their properties and, and got into interior design and changed their career because of a result of an investment in a property. And we want to hear some of these different stories that you might have. What and why did you buy a holiday rental home? How has a holiday rental home helped you um, be successful or change your life? Um, how has it changed someone else's life? Um, and, or have you got a unique story about a traveller? Um, or some things that are happening in your local area, maybe whereby your holiday rental plays a significant role? So just a few more um, of, uh, of, of what we sort of in, be involved with the, with the press. Um, one of them is, is here is, um, and we're going to actually be hopefully announcing something uh, in the next couple of weeks, will be sort of like where we're seeing the trends of people investing in holiday homes. Now where are we actually seeing a change? And in particular in this summer there was a lot uh, of, uh, we identified there was a growth in Eastern Europe as the European Union sort of opens up a little bit more. We're seeing more UK people actually start to invest. Um, into other markets um, than we have seen, the traditional France and Spain, and now that's expanding, which is fantastic um, for anybody who's a traveller because obviously you can go further afield and stay longer in a beautiful home away from home. We pick up on TV programmes that might be happening, um, and if you feel that you might have something relevant, share that on Facebook, share that across Twitter. Again, these are some of the things that we pick up and we might put into some of the stories that some of the journalists might actually be looking for. These are some of the fun ones which we try to make viral. How a holiday home looks like a, uh, one of the old computer games from the uh, 80s. Does anybody remember this game? Uh, and then we have um, some uh, teeny tiny houses. If any one of you have stayed in one of these uh, tiny holiday homes. What is really good if you want to make sure that you feature within um, sort of some of our press activity and our social media activity um, is maybe special offers. We always have a look at some of the special offers. Journalists are always doing like late deals and special offers within their, within their publications. Um, there's always a section you might notice within the travel section that actually has the special offers. Um, so, you know, if you're sharing that again um, across social media, that's something that we will also pick up and journalists will also pick up as something that they might want to put into an article that they're writing. Uh, make sure there's you know, plenty of detail in your listing as well. Um, this is, uh, again, we, when we're looking and we're searching uh, for unique stories or for unique properties, um, you know, making sure that there's plenty of description will ensure that we're able to find this information and be able to reach out to you to actually get working with you on this. Um, traveller reviews and ratings, I'm sure um, that uh, you're, uh, you're working hard on trying to get those. Again, you know, we do like to promote um, a listing that's got a full, uh, it's fully complete as much as possible and then has additional information as well because it just um, adds to the detail that particular the journalist is looking for because journalists are effectively recommending you know, these listings um, themselves. So, but them having more of this information certainly helps them provide that recommendation. And again, calendar dates are certainly important when we're doing special press releases, maybe around the half-term holidays or the summer holidays, Christmas or Valentine's Day, for example. 
if we're going to you know, work with properties on that, make, we'll always do campaigns. So make sure that your um, property uh, calendar is always up to date, especially around um, some of these bigger events uh, like Easter and Valentine's Day, and etc. Because um, that is where hopefully your property should be picked up when people are doing those searches. Does anyone use um, forums at all? Does uh, anybody sort of discuss anything on an open forum? We've got a couple of you. So, owners, uh, um, Homeway has its own owners community, uh, which you'll have free access to. Um, this uh, will allow you to talk to other owners, share some of your experiences, ask questions, and you're getting relevant help and advice from people who've been through it. Um, it's, it allows you to learn a lot quicker and maybe even get someone to look over your listing um, to give, them, give you some advice on what you could possibly do to draw more people to it. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you're seeing you're getting a lot of page views but you're not getting the inquiries. Or maybe you're getting the inquiries but you're not getting the bookings. Um, or, there could be, or, or you could find that maybe the process of getting the booking is such a long one. How do you want? To, how do you close that out? So, you know, what are you? What tricks are you potentially missing? So, if our customer service isn't available, then there are thousands of other owners from all across the globe using the owners community who can uh, be a, definitely a source of information to be able to make sure that you're making the right decisions for you and your holiday home. <laughs> Go back to traveller guest reviews um, and. Guest reviews is pretty much a matter of fact of today's world. TripAdvisor, who uses TripAdvisor? Who's read a review on TripAdvisor? Yeah. Um, who likes TripAdvisor as review system? Do you think they're honest? Sort of, yeah. Um, TripAdvisor changed the entire way we understood how to review or how to uh, make a decision on something. I mean, um, certainly um, I'm one of those who will look at uh, uh, somewhere to stay and then I will want to find out, you know, what do people think about that. Um, do I necessarily believe what they say? No. Um, I do tend to look at the detail um, and the way they've said it. Is it grammatically correct? Can they actually put a sentence together? Are they um, being too loving? Um, are they being too disrespectful? You know, you look at all these ideas, but at the end of the day, you have to make a decision yourself. It's just goes some way to helping you make that decision. You know, if the reviews are all one star, you probably want to be edging away from it. If they're all five star, might be alright, but it might be nice to see a three star in there somewhere because there's got to be an honest opinion, there's got to be someone who perhaps wasn't so happy. You might not want to believe them, but it just helps add a little bit more authenticity to what reviews are. So remember an inquiry is a custom... Um, oh God, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, Customer service is essential, effectively, and this is what customer service is. Uh, when you are renting out a holiday home, it belongs to you but it's, and it's a business, but sometimes, like any business, we have to step back and we have to step away from the situation and assess it one step back. Um, I was always brought up on this idea that the customer is always right. <coughs> Don't know how true that really is. Um, but we always have to bear in mind that if a customer is unhappy, they'll tell twice as many people than the people who are happy. So if they are going to say something publicly, you want to make sure that you address that publicly um, and you address that on, on, on a level that considers them as a customer and as a guest and with respect because you don't know who else is going to be reading um, those responses that you do. So when you actually engage with a, with, with a, with a traveller, it's always important to be really honest um, as much as you can be. Don't oversell your property because they're just going to come in and go, hold on a second, you said it was five star and, or it was a luxury and actually, you know, it's not quite, it's more mid. And um, if you oversell, if, if, if you un sort of undersell, people are more likely to go away going, wow, that was incredible. And sort of you prefer to get the wow factor than the underwhelmed factor. 
keeping on top of communication, and certainly our, our application mobile hospitality is going to go some way between the booking process and them arriving to be able to keep them engaged with what you're doing. Um, to, for what they can do and how they can enjoy their holiday home, which makes them feel incredibly more secure and um, know, safer in the knowledge that they're going to have an absolutely fantastic holiday because at the end of it, we want them to have an amazing holiday and then come back and tell everybody how amazing their holiday was. We, um, we we've, you know, if you have had a situation where maybe uh, you have had a negative review, um, sorry, no, I'm actually talking about next steps for, sorry. <laughs> so once you've had someone stay, make sure you contact them immediately. Uh, you want to make sure that you get their review as quickly as possible. You want to make sure you iron out any issues that you may have had or, they might, or, or, or problems that you might have had when they had uh, someone come and stay. Um, so what I would also say is that if you're here this afternoon, come and watch Jasmine Harmon because she talks about her personal experiences of holiday home rentals and some of the both amazing and disastrous experiences that she's had and some of the advice that she also gives to people who are looking at renting out their holiday home. But really go some way to just encouraging them to write a review, keeping their email address and also following up with them uh, as well. But don't overdo it. Um, I don't know if you've been through a situation where someone's been really pushy, it probably turns them off writing a review, or if they do write a review, they might not even give you a five star or the star that you perhaps deserve from the experience that they had because of, of, of the fact that they felt that there was too much pressure for them to have left the review. Always accept that you're going to get positive and negative reviews. I think that's, a, that's definitely an important part to it. What some people like, other people don't. We've got to remember that. You know, just because you like blue doesn't mean the other person's going to like blue. You know, you, 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 you might have decked out your house um, in um, you know, fantastic furniture, um, and most of your friends say, wow, that's amazing, but there could be someone who comes in and actually doesn't get on with that. Remember that these people have different tastes, and we just have to be uh, conscious that they um, have their own opinion as well. And the most important thing is to always thank them. <coughs> Deal with negative reviews by addressing each of the points that they raise. Um, and just try again to step back from the situation um, without um, perhaps attacking um, or um, challenging uh, what they had to say. The more positive reviews that you have, a negative review is not going to be as bad because people are going to balance it out between the two. This is just uh, an example of some um, bad uh, negative reviews. <laughs> Notice that this one hasn't got a response. Okay, so the owner hasn't actually responded. It's an opportunity uh, just to address some of their issues that they've got there. Their, his under sheet was stained um, and uh, the, the, the shower's not properly fixed to the wall. Some other bits and pieces. So addressing some of these points is always important. Again, this one uh, wasn't also uh, responded to. So again, you know, look at these issues. You might feel, oh no, I don't want to respond. But if you receive a positive review, thank you ever so much for a positive review. We're glad you enjoy your stay. We hope we might have you again sometime. And if there's a negative review, just address some of those issues uh, that they might have had. Um, the customer service team are always available should you need assistance in how you can respond to some of these. Um, and you'll see here that you know, we've got a one out of five and a five out of five, yet this owner has responded to both and addressed um, their points. Uh, the, 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 the one out of five, all I can say in reply is in six years of renting our villa, we have never had to ask anyone to leave. Um, as you'll notice that the, the one out of five is written in caps, shouting. Um, so you know, the traveler here has represented himself by writing in caps in the first place. So when a traveller reviews that, you might even notice, you, you'll, have, you'll take that into consideration as well. So always, always be polite. You know, make sure that you, know, you, you remain a respectful owner. This is an example, um, the Martins. Um, they travel the world now through holiday home rentals uh, using HomeAway. Uh, we worked with them, they launched a book uh, they retired, sold it, uh, cash everything in, and basically just spend their year going around um, around the world. 
and so it's an absolutely fantastic story all over YouTube um, and they've also um, had their book published both in the UK and across the world. So you don't know who's staying in your property and you don't know how they're going to promote it and how, how they're actually going to share uh, where they're staying. And certainly they've said is that properties that they regularly stay in are now pretty much booked out all year because their followers absolutely love the places that they choose for their holiday homes. We also speak to owners and we want to find out, you know, as I said earlier, why you chose this particular holiday home. Um, and um, these stories are really, really good for us um, because, you know, they're, they're heartwarming stories as well. So in your owner profile that you'll have on your listing, it's always good to give a little bit of detail there about yourself and, uh, and maybe why you chose a particular region um, so that people can fall, also fall in love with it. So that is um, social media and the press and a way of you being able to engage with people um, and, and communicate exactly for what's so amazing about holiday homes and what's in the local area. Can I open up the floor to any questions? So we'll have time for probably a couple of questions as we want to make sure you have time to uh, see the Google presentation next door. So I saw a couple of hands there. Yes, yeah, simple question to start with. My name is John. Should I be creating a, f a Facebook page or is it a fan page for my property? Um, if you're an individual owner and you've only got one property, then um, I probably say it's probably more worth. It's more hard work than it's worth. Um, so you're best off just engaging on other fan pages that already have an audience. It's going to take you forever to build up thousands or even hundreds. I've got my own page, by the way, and I've only got like 300 people on there, most of them are my friends. So, you know, it's just, I would just interact on other pages, like, um, where, where's your property? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So there'll be loads of, like, Edinburgh Fringe Festival, um, Edinburgh Town Centre, you know, all these different sort of, like, fan pages anyway, where you can actually go up and post details about your property and details about your local area. So it's not essential that you create your own fan page at all. Uh, my name is uh, Paul. Uh, I have a question. Um, you have those. You show those uh, reviews on owners direct. Is it possible to uh, to share it with Facebook or Twitter directly with a button below the review? Because now it's just only you say like, is it, <coughs> or is it useful? But uh, there is no connection between the, the other social media. We don't have that um, feature at the moment, um, which, you know, it's, it's a matter of going to your share um, on the listing and then saying a brand new five star review and then people go to that listing and see that. That's the only way that we currently have it, but we're always developing ways in which we could um, improve uh, the social shareability of each of our listings and it's, it's definitely something that we should look into more. So I think we have a last question here and then for the rest, sorry. If you can write down the question, we'll have plenty of time in the Q&A uh, session for Farhan to answer some of these uh, questions. Hello, my name's Dina. Um, can you tag, and is it necessary to tag a picture on Facebook? Um, if you share on Facebook, it is going to your private audience, um, unless uh, you're going onto a fan page. Um, and if you're tagging um, friends friends generally, um, those people who aren't friends with that friends won't see that, but certainly if you ask your friend, tagging, that will get them involved in the conversation. When we post a, 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 a fantastic property on one of our Facebook pages, um, people will come, travellers will come to and see that and they'll go, you know, at Barry, I uh, can't believe this is one of the most amazing chalets I've ever seen, how do you fancy doing a ski trip there next year? This is the sort of conversation, they end up having a conversation on our thread about this property home and their holiday plans. Um, so yes, it is useful because it does spread the network, it does um, get people engaged and, and, and commenting. Um, so any way you can get more people into the conversation is definitely helpful, but there will be times that the privacy settings on Facebook may not allow you to uh, go that far.